Hello, welcome to this new host for video. My name's Alex, and today we're going, we're going to be looking at how to get started with the UISP. So we published a blog post uh, a few weeks ago discussing um, the advantages of using UISP. Um, it didn't actually explain on it didn't actually explain how to do certain things in the in the software either. So how to make a new site, what devices are supported, and how to add a new device as well. So in this guide, we'll cover the basics: how to get up and running with the UISP, how to make new towers, subscribers, and add new devices. Uh, we have other articles in the knowledge base on how to um, have individual, how to do individual topics. But this this the, this video is going to be a broad overview of how to use the UISP application. So, over an overview, UISP is a, a new so well, it's a relatively new software application that Ubiquiti have made, and it covers all of the provider devices that Ubiquiti uh, currently makes. So this excludes Unify, excludes Unify Protect, excludes Unify Access, Talk, and um, all those other devices as well. It's purely for UISP devices, the USB switched router, as well as AirCube, AirFiber, AirMax, and that sort of stuff. Each device in the USB family has does have its own GUI with the exception of the USP switch and router um, but all the Air Max devices have their own GUI so USP is not really a requirement for anything other than that um, and unified devices cannot be managed by USP so we're going to cover how to add a new device um, so we have a separate guide covering each step by step on how to add each device to UISP. There's a separate guide for each one, which you can find in the description below. But all you need to do is log into the log into the device, enter in the UISP key, and then you can add it to the controller. So we'll go over how to add a new site first. So to add a new site, go to the UISP application, go to the map, and you can see a plus button on the top right hand corner. So you click plus. I'm gonna say no location for now. So let's imagine I want to add a new site. So we're going to call it Hostify Test. We mean 221B Baker Street. And we'll keep that, keep those details there. So that's how you add a new site. And once that site's made, you can then assign new devices to it. Uh, that the site. Um, feature will be used for any towers so if you've got a wisp you've got any towers with uh, routers and access points um, for your customers that's what that you use that for and then there's a separate type of site called subscriber and this would be for the CPE so you could for example add a nanobeam AC or nanostation and then also an air cube for the internal Wi-Fi and this also applies to the uh, U-Fiber product line with the ONUs as well so to make a new subscriber it's a little bit less simple um, you have to actually go to the device you want to use and then you can manage it um, and change the site. So let's imagine I want to test it, um, change the site. I could go host device CPE, change the site, and that will change it. However, um, when you want to make a new subscriber, you can come up. You have to do it when you've got a device. So when you want to make a new subscriber, you have to have the... Um, Yeah, so when you, want, when you want to make a new subscriber, you have to come up to a device that's pending an option, and then you can make a new site and assign it that way. You have a create and assign option for that. So if you need any more information, don't hesitate to contact our team at support at hostify.com. Uh, we, we also host UISP as well as Unify and Hostify Pro. So if you need hosting for UISP for your WISP or MSP, uh, just let us know and we're happy to help you out. Um, we've also got Hostify Pro, our network consulting service. Um, we, we, we can help with any WISP applications or any wireless applications, that sort of thing. Um, the link in the description, the link for this blog post will be in the description below, and then also uh, our Twitter feeds as well. Okay, thank you for watching this video, and uh, we'll see you again soon.